It's rare to find an ace fighter pilot who mastered the challenges of aerial combat in two different wars and did so in both piston and jet engine aircraft. Colonel Glenn Eagleston was one such man. Born in Farmington, Utah in 1921, Eagleston joined the U.S. Army Air Corps as an enlisted man in 1940. Two years later, he became an aviation cadet and served briefly in the 20th Fighter Squadron before transferring to the 354th Fighter Group. He was deployed to England in 1943. Known as the Pioneers, the 354th began flying P-51 Mustangs over France in December of 1943. Originally part of the 9th Air Force, the 354th was loaned to the 8th Air Force for bomber escort duty. Our fighters were ordered to seek the enemy instead of waiting for him, and above all, to follow him to his destruction. The pilots of the 354th played a deadly game of aerial chicken with the Germans, flying straight at them and counting on the enemy pilots to break off first. Eagleston mastered this technique quickly and shot down his first German fighter on January 5, 1944. Eagleston flew escort missions regularly that winter, and his kill score quickly rose. He downed two ME-110s on February 21st and 22nd, and a BF-109 on March 6th. In the spring of 1944, Eagleston and the 354th returned to their original tactical role in preparation for D-Day. By this time, Eagleston had eight and a half kills and had been promoted to captain. His biggest day of the war was on October 29, 1944, when he destroyed three German planes in a furious half-hour dogfight. Eagleston went on to become the top American ace in the 9th Air Force in Europe, credited with 18 and a half victories, two probable victories, and at least seven damaged German aircraft. During one fateful half hour, he also destroyed at least five enemy aircraft on the ground while flying his P-51 Mustang that he called the Feeble Eagle. When the Korean War began, Eagleston became the commander of the 334th Fighter Interceptor Squadron and later the 4th Fighter Interceptor Group. Eagleston was now flying an F-86 Sabre, a swept-wing transonic fighter that was a good match for the Soviet-built MiG-15s. Patrolling MiG Alley over the Yalu River, Eagleston downed his first MiG-15. However, his F-86 was badly damaged in the engagement and he was forced to belly land to Kimpo Air Base. Eagleston downed his second MiG on April 22, 1951, a day of intense aerial combat for the Americans. It was his final aerial victory in a distinguished career as a fighter pilot that spanned 10 years, two aircraft types, and two continents. Colonel Glenn Eagleston served in a variety of administrative positions during his remaining years in the Air Force. When he finally retired in 1967, he closed a chapter in his life during which he had served his country with honor and added his name to the history books. Eagleston earned numerous commendations as a career officer in the Air Force, including the Distinguished Service Cross, Silver Star, Legion of Merit, and a Distinguished Flying Cross with three oak leaf clusters. Colonel Glenn Eagleston is remembered as a fighter pilot's fighter pilot whose career spanned the transition from propellers to jet engines and whose skills in aerial combat were legendary. He is buried in Arlington National Cemetery in our nation's capital.